Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today we're going to be talking about some faded mate romances. So if you didn't know about faded mates, they're basically, well faded mate romances are romance books where the two couples are faded mates, like they're destined to be together, they're mates. You see this in a lot of fantasy books and paranormal books specifically, and I think all but, I think all of them fall into those categories. I think so, because <laughs> you don't really see that in contemporary because it's very paranormal and fantasy-esque. I know that Faded Mates is quite a popular um, subgenre of romance right now, um, so I thought I would give you some of my favorite books and series to read that have the Faded Mate trope in them. So of course I'm just gonna hit it off with probably the most popular ones. We have Sarah J Mass books. <laughs> Specifically, uh, we have the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, um, and that the first book is a um, Beauty and the Beast retelling, and they're in this fantasy land. Yeah, there's faded mates in that series. You see it throughout the series. Specifically, you see it in starting in book two, and I absolutely love the series. I feel like everybody knows what the series is, so I'm not going to dive too much into that. We also have the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas, um, which everybody probably knows about that series because it's also written by Sarah J Maas and everyone loves Sarah J Maas or most people do. The Throne of Glass series starts out with book number one Throne of Glass which is about Selena Sardothian and she is in this prison. The prince of this land asks her to be his champion in this competition to um overall whoever like wins these trials or competition there we go that's the word i was looking for um they get to be the king's champion and so that's the first book and throughout the series it gets even more fantastical more um fantasy driven and just like a lot of a fate of me aspect is woven into this series towards the end of the series okay another series that has a fate of mates in it that is one of my favorites of all time is of course the ice planet barbarian series by ruby dixon <laughs> these are alien romance books if you did not know i absolutely adore Adore this series with my whole heart. Ruby Dixon also has a bunch of other spin-off series that also deal with mates. Um, so we have the spin-off to Ice Planet Barbarians, which is Ice Home, um, the first book being Lawrence Barbarian. But this all starts out with Ice Planet Barbarians, and um, this is a series where human women are abducted by some evil aliens um, in the middle of the night, and that spaceship crash lands on this desert ice planet and the human women are the only survivors and one of the women georgie the heroine in the first book goes out to like find food or shelter or something because everybody's dying out or starting to die out <laughs> and um she comes across a blue alien man who she cannot communicate with so there's a language barrier there and he claims that that is his mate so on this planet you have to have a kui or a symbiote put in your body to help you survive on the planet and that um kui helps you again survive on the planet like just become healthy and also helps you find your mate and so uh whenever you come in close vicinity with your mate the kui will start to hum and like you'll feel this vibration in your chest and that's when you know you found your mate vectal is our hero and he finds his mate in georgie and so each book is about a human woman who um falls for and becomes mates with uh one of the sakui alien males on this planet and i <laughs> I'm a sucker for this series. Um, they're just like really entertaining and just really, really, really fun to read about. I feel like I should get all of the series out of the way, so I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so next we have the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward, and this series revolves around a secret vampire society. So this is a paranormal romance series where um, there's a secret society of vampires, humans don't know about them, um, and they basically have their own society in the world. And the Black Tiger Brotherhood is a group of vampires that basically protect the vampire race from these evil kind of like zombie vampire thingamabobbers. Um, <laughs> each book is about one of the vampires um, in the Black Tiger Brotherhood um, finding their mate. I absolutely adore this series. I still have more to read in this series. There's just so many books to read in it, um, but they're all very highly entertaining. Dark Lover isn't my favorite thing of all time, but you have to read it to get into the series, you know? This one was overall pretty fun to read, but as a series as a whole, amazing Faded Mates series that I just, I, I love reading. <laughs> we also have the Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole. Now I love the Faded Mate aspect in this series. This first book is um, about our hero who is a Lygate, and this is um, him finding his mate 
who is a uh, vampire who is his sworn enemy so um, that happens a lot throughout the series each book is about a different mate and they're all different lore creatures so you'll have a valkyrie in one book or you'll have a phantom a ghost a vampire um a sorceress what else a succubi like it's <laughs> It's crazy. I absolutely love like all the lore creatures in here and every single one of them like fights finds their mate in their book and like the mate aspect is really unique because they're all like different when it comes to different like um lore creatures like um for um I think like vampires they're like dead like they their heart doesn't beat nothing works in the lower half of their body like they can't do anything until they find their mate once they like are with their mate or like see their mate for the first time like like life is breathed back into them they can breathe their heart starts beating and they can finally do stuff you know um and they can only do stuff like with their mate um and i <laughs> i find that so unique and i just love the like the mate aspect in here is super 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 cool the series overall is just super duper fun i have one more book to read in this series and then i'm completely done with it until like i think new books are going to come out possibly but um I just have so much fun reading this and the fate of my aspect in here is pretty amazing. Next I have the Moon series by Lisa Kessler and this is another paranormal romance series all revolving around um were werewolf shifters and panther shifters and in this like setting in this world that Lisa Kessler has created um panther shifters and wolf shifters I believe are sworn enemies and so each book is about um one of those shifters I believe in a specific pack um like finding their mate and in the first one it's about our hero who is a werewolf shifter finding his mate in a panther shifter um and so that's very forbidden they should not be together at all and i don't even think our heroine knows that she's a panther shifter i think she just like wakes up in the middle of the night without any clothes on like in the woods and does not know who she is um and like that's been happening for a while and she doesn't know that she shifts into a panther when that happens and so he like try tries to help her go through that even though like they should not be like together at all and if anybody found out that they were together it'd be bad news the rest of the series isn't like that they're not all like panther and uh, werewolf shifter romances but um they're all mate books revolving around one of those shifter groups um and i honestly thought that the series was honestly so much fun like i flew through them i believe when i first started my booktube channel i haven't read them in quite a while so it's like one of like the first paranormal uh series like romance series that i ever read and i just had a blast reading them and i remember really loving the fate of me aspect in there next i have the planet of desire series by robin lovett i've only read the first two books in this series so i haven't read the I think there's four books out right now um but this is another alien romance series these aliens they are able to have mates like lifelong mates like their body will like um start to produce um like their they have fangs it will start to produce like venom because um like when you bite your mate you can turn them kind of like into their alien species a little bit and like change their genetic makeup so like they're able to con like conceive like their alien species children without like hurting them just like change their body structure a little bit to help protect them and stuff like that which i thought was pretty cool and so whenever they come across their mate like they'll start to produce venom and everything and so this first book is about our hero and heroine and they are sworn enemies because she is a human and he is this alien species i can't pronounce it <laughs> they're like aliens who like have gold skin and scales this alien and his like crew end up invading the human like ship to like overcome it because they've been at war for so long little does the hero know that like they have like escaped the human colony or human um population because they didn't agree with what they were doing when it came to going to war against the aliens so the aliens don't know this though and so they're like attacking the ship and our hero and heroine like get in like this battle and they accidentally end up like going into one of the escape pods and end up launching it and it crashes on this planet and it's like a desire planet and it has like toxins in the air to where like if you're not constantly like doing it like you'll be in like extreme pain and to top it all off this guy realizes while he's on this planet that this woman is his mate there's like a bunch of different layers there but i thought that these books were pretty amazing and super duper fun i've only read up to book two um but the faded mate aspect in here is so much fun to read about okay the last series that i have to talk about is actually a trilogy we have the king maker trilogy by um, amanda boucher and this trilogy is all centered around one couple um so you have three books the first one being um a promise of fire and then you have breath of fire and then um 
that just dropped, but it's heart on fire. <laughs> and so this is the first book and uh, this is a fade and make thing when it comes to the gods. Like the gods have made these two characters like lifelong mates destined to be together and you like see that throughout the series and so our our whole the whole entire trilogy is centered around Kat who is a pretending to be a soothsayer in this traveling circus she's disguising herself because she's actually something called a kingmaker which is a um, being that can only exist once every 200 years they're blessed by the gods and they can have like these special powers and so our hero griffin here um he just conquered like a um a neighboring like uh, country or neighboring land and um, he comes across her um, in this in this uh, traveling circus and he knows exactly who she is and he kidnaps her to take her to his like conquered kingdom because he put his sister on the throne and he's always been looking for something or somebody to help protect his sister to keep her on that throne and so he steals cat like kidnaps her so this is a kidnapping romance it's also a road trip romance because they're like traveling through this fantasy land but little do they know that like they might be destined to be together even though it's a huge hate to love because he kidnapped her <laughs> i love this series so much it is so good it is amazing i love it okay so i'm gonna be doing a shout out today from my disney shout out mug i have every single romance book tour that i'm subscribed to and i put them all in a mug and no matter if they're big or small and whoever i draw out of the mug um, i'm going to be shouting out so whoever i pull out of here is somebody i watch all the time you should totally check out let's do this one who is this Oh my word, we have Jen. I bet everybody follows her already. Jen from The Book Refuge. Um, I love her oh so very much. She's one of my dear friends on here. She reads just about literally everything. Um, I call her a dark romance queen because she reads so much dark romance, very taboo, but she also reads sweet historicals and um, like just like, she's like all over the map in what kind of romance that she reads and I absolutely adore her and she's super nice super supportive super sweet and like if you're honestly not following jen what are you doing with your life if you love all kinds of romance please go check out jen she reads literally everything she makes amazing recommendation videos and i love how in depth she goes in her um recommendation videos and just her videos in general they're always like most of them are always over uh, 20 minutes long and i actually like i i like that <laughs> um because she really like, goes in depth with the books that she talks about i i love when booktubers do that and so i just I love her so much and you should totally go check her out. Next is an interesting one because you wouldn't think this is Fate of Mates, but it actually like kind of is. We have Love in the Wild by Emma Castle. Um, and this is actually a Tarzan retelling. That's all I'm gonna say about it is that it is a Tarzan retelling. Our hero's name is Thorn and our heroine's name is Eden. And it's very Tarzan-esque. Think of the Legend of Tarzan movie. I feel like our author got quite a bunch of inspiration from that movie. I really enjoyed this one so much but the reason why it's like faded mates is because like there's this magical aspect of the jungle like the jungle has these like gods in it and like the the, the gods kind of like have faded them to be together and so i thought that was like amazing i've never seen that done in like a um tarzan retelling before and so there's definitely like a faded mate aspect in here because they're destined to be together and this like magical land is trying to get them to be together and trying to indicate to them like they're destined for one another and i feel like that's a faded mate trope in here other people might not agree but um i feel like it is <laughs> next we have another werewolf shifter romance we have her sweet alpha by thayer king in this book at the beginning um werewolves have just been announced to like be real like pe humans have started to realize that werewolves are a real thing there's kind of like quite a bit of a divide between the two werewolves and humans and like humans are very scared of them obviously because they're werewolves and so this book starts out with our heroine she's working in um this diner and she is serving these two or three i don't know how many these burly guys in one of the booths that she's like working and one of them smells her and um he is the alpha to one of the wolf packs uh he knows immediately that that is his mate and she's like whoa wait a second i don't know you and like he has Right off the bat, he has all these plans he wants to do with her and wants to be with her. And she's like, I don't know you. And so um, he has to like try to um, tell her about the mating bond and what it all means and how they're supposed to be together for life. And she's really confused. She doesn't know anything about this life. She like slowly starts to um, fall for him. And right off the bat, he already knows that he's in love with her because of the mating bond. But um, he has, he knows he has to go slow or like go at her pace because she's not a werewolf she doesn't feel the same feelings right off the bat for him and so 
I thought this was just such a super fun and super sweet werewolf romance. And the last book on this list is also a werewolf romance. We have Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. So our hero here is a werewolf shifter and our heroine is actually a werewolf huntress. <laughs> and so um, while the book starts out with the first chapter, our hero is a werewolf and our heroine's like family is actually like hunting him. He like can smell his mate and he like ends up like tracking her down and she works at this um like coffee shop thing i don't remember what it's called i think it's a coffee shop um and he like goes and sits in this coffee shop for like weeks to just watch his mate and like he's really nervous to go talk to her because he doesn't know how she's gonna react to him and everything um little does he know that this whole entire time that he's been like sitting in this um coffee shop like watching her like trying to um get to know her she already knows that like that's a werewolf like she knows <laughs> one day he like gets up enough courage to like ask her out and she says yes because she thinks it's, it's the perfect opportunity to kill him <laughs> and so the book is about our heroine who is a werewolf huntress trying to go kill her mate even though she doesn't know that that's her mate because humans can't tell when that's their mate um and our hero is just like in awe of her of how strong and resilient that she is and honestly like basically gives applause to her when, he, when she tries to kill him this is honestly another super sweet werewolf romance where the like fading mate aspect in here was pretty amazing as well so there you have it those are some faded mate romance recommendations for you please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or these series and if they're your favorites as well anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all